The bootleg fire in southern Oregon, it's now over 281,000 acres and it remains very fast moving. The fire's incident commander, Joe Hassel, says the flames are moving as fast as four to five miles a day. He also added the speed of the fire makes it extra challenging because every time firefighters move locations, they face new hazards. So far, fire crews have the fire at 22% containment. Level 3 go now evacuations are still in place for areas north and east of the fire in Klamath and Lake Counties. 21 homes and 54 other structures have been destroyed. It's not just firefighters helping out around the bootleg fire. Volunteers are bringing in supplies for the nearly 2,000 people now that have been evacuated. Those good Samaritans are bringing in bottled water, dry goods, even children's shoes to victims of that fire in their time of need. We have supplies that have been donated from all over Klamath County. We had a load this morning came from Silverton, Oregon, and we have a load in the morning coming from Portland. I am in awe of the donations we've received. It's a complete emotional roller coaster. I, I sympathize, I empathize, I, I see the heartache and it, it breaks my own heart. But then I see the hope, I, I see the community and it, it, you're on a complete spectrum of, I go from extreme devastation to extreme joy and right back in a matter of moments. The Bly Community Action Team says their needs are always changing. Right now, they're getting requests for farm items like fence posts, hay, chicken feed, and hog food. In Wallawa County, Governor Brown invoked the Emergency Conflagration Act for the Elbow Creek Fire. This fire started on Friday morning. It's already burned nearly 11,000 acres. It's southeast of Walla Walla and it has closed the Umatilla Forest. Level 3 go now evacuations in place for some residents of Troy. The governor's order allows the state's fire marshal to mobilize firefighters and equipment from across the state to battle this fire. Well, there's some good news for the Elbow Creek fire as well as more crews will be arriving there soon. That is because crews battling the Grandview fire are making good progress. Right now, it's at 6,000 acres and is just over 30% contained. However, officials say the threat to homes has been reduced to a point that Three task force are now moving to the Elbow Creek fire. Closer to the metro region, all water access to Hag Lake is now closed. This is to allow the firefighter planes to pick up water from the lake. That water is being used to fight the nearby Game Hog Creek fire in the Tillamook National For or State Forest. It's about 22 miles northwest of Forest Grove. That fire is burning around 135 acres. The fire is threatening the Elk Creek campground and homes along Highway 6. People are urged not to go camping in that area for now.